Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Yamanaka's Poison here, just me, myself and I back again for another video and today is going to be um, a competitive battle between myself and Pleco Armboy. Uh, before I get into all that quickly, I just have a couple of announcements. Uh, so I've been a little slow on the videos recently, but uh, soon I'm going to be doing a battle against pros with me, Amina Hokage. Because I haven't done a battle against pro videos in a while, so I'm going to do me, Amina Hokage. And because now that I'm in the band of X, I have more opportunities to upload me and some of the other guys in there. Because you know they're, they're all pretty top, you know, good top players. So you know, I should pop out some more battles against pros with them. You know, get some battles me winning and some of them winning. And also, I've also come up with the idea of maybe making my own uh, Naruto Storm Four top players list. Uh, just seeing who I, you know, consider top players. I might just go in depth with it as well. I might just talk about why I think they're top players and why they deserve to be there. I think I might not do any specific order, you know, I'm just going to put some top players in there, explain why they're in there. No specific order, just going to throw them all in there, who I, you know, think is top players. Anyways, now that's out of the way. Uh, yeah, so I just want to talk about this uh, battle that I've had with Playco Armboy. So, um, on Facebook there was this tournament, this Road to Baruto tournament that uh, if you win it, you get like a prize pool of stuff, you know, you get like the Road to Baruto game, uh, the Namco Bandai press kit, that's exclusive, and things like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so me and Pleiko was in the first fight, and I was like, ah, oh, shit, because <laughs> he messaged me, he's like, yo, we're up, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> um, I actually went in it with confidence. Um, I actually learned a lot from the battle, I watched it back and everything. He used a pretty good team, I think it was like Shino, Nagato, and Madara, I believe. I can't remember now, but you're gonna see the fight. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post it here on my channel. Um, it was a really good ass fight. Um, even though I actually got destroyed, you know, he didn't two stock me, which you know, which was good. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. Even though he did destroy me, I did actually learn a lot from the battle, and I've made sure that my concept on how the battle went has changed a little bit. Like now that I've you know took that ass beating it's kind of similar to how I lost the iPal back in the gladiator games back in storm 3 you know sort of open my eyes a little bit more and hopefully I should be fighting a lot better in my, in my battles recently I've been playing in uh, some uh, clan battles and for the band of X and both clan battles I've been in so far we've won so you know I've came out of it all three of my lives in both clan battles which I'm pretty proud of so if I can keep that up that'd be pretty awesome but um yeah it's just this battle when Pleco actually just destroyed me, <laughs> like he got a green bar on the one stock. He, he did really well, and I hope he does well for this tournament. Also, my boy Suzakuno Kyoko is in this tournament as well, so I hope he does well too. I'm pretty sure those two might meet, and whoever wins out of those two, I don't know, but I wish them both the best of luck. I just lost to Pleco Iron Boy, and I've, you know, I thought to myself, you know, I need to learn from this, so I watched the footage back. He couldn't save the footage because he didn't have enough room, but I saved it just in case the host didn't need, um, the host needed, like, proof. But I'm also gonna upload it to my channel because I want you guys to see, like, you know, that Playco Iron Boy, he's a good ass player. I know that some of you out here, you know, some people sort of bash him and I don't understand why. I mean, I guess some people might have their individual reasons as to why you bash him, but honestly, he's a great player. In my eyes and in my opinion, he's a great ass player. And if you actually get to know him, I've had some conversations with him, he's very knowledgeable in the game and he's very smart. You see, the thing with Playco is that he just gets tired of people who complain about, you know, the stupid shit and things like that. and you know, can't get around it, and I understand where he's coming from, because the game in itself is actually quite simple. It really is. It's just, when we see people complain about shit that can easily just be avoided or shit like that, it's kind of like, it's kind of stupid, you know? It's just, it's, it's the game, deal with it. And I see where Playco is coming from with, with that standpoint. Obviously, there are stuff that need to be sort of like taken out and banned, you know, like, Dash cut is that a problem and Tamari is that a problem. Anyways, this is supposed to be a quick commentary, but it's taking forever as usual because I talk too much. Anyways, guys, uh, be sure to look at uh, look at this battle. Maybe you guys could learn from this too. See where I made my mistakes. Reflect on yourselves, perhaps, and just see how smart Pleco is. He doesn't play aggressive. He doesn't play in any specific way. He plays intelligently because he knows how the mechanics work and he plays just with that in intelligence in mind. You know, he's got everything planned out perfectly. Anyways, I'm rambling on too much. Uh, like I said, Playco and Sousa, I hope that you guys do really well in your matches in the tournament. And as always, it's been your boy Yamanaka's Poison. Jeanne.